It's back in our time. We get updates. Y'all know it's early morning time and I don't even do this for nobody and nothing. But I had to come here and I had to talk on a few things. Because boy, them things on them comments from that other video, bang, 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 going off. For what? But then come to find out, Michael B. Jordan has just released a statement saying how they're in the process of changing the name and they did not mean to come here and cause an uproar. Thank you. Claps to him. Shout out for shout out to him for listening to us. That's all we want Number to be one. heard. Hearing us and seeing our point and saying, you know what? We got to Ooh. do better. And he did say that he loved the culture. So you know what? Thank you. Please and thanks. Simple, 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 simple. What we're not going to do is that everybody, the comments under my original um, video has just been way left and way, way right. And I feel like this, we should just clear up a few things. My problem with him, I don't have a problem with him. I don't care if he was black, white, Chinese, Indian. It wouldn't, like, the race part is not the issue. The issue is taking a word that's been around for so long that has cultural significance and trying to use it. That is the issue. Nobody has an issue with the man itself. Oh, but he's a black man and he was a white. Or it. No. Y'all making it, y'all going way deep. Don't bring race here. A different level than it was meant. We're not talking about race. We're talking about the word and the culture. And then the African Americans versus the Caribbean Americans. War, Sir, war, war, war. Come on. Oh, you're doing way too much this morning. Come down. Come down from there. Come down. Stay on a level. Stay on a level. Because clearly I had to, I had to come out and talk, talk Caribbean. And then a lot of people over here coming, coming to me and want to tell me about Juve and tell me about the culture. How could you tell me something that I was raised in? I was raised by a Caribbean woman. And everybody out there who has been influenced by Caribbeans know that even though they came over here from the, whatever island they came over here from. Because I'm not going to make it only about Trinidad. Because clearly, people, clearly when people hear Trinidad, they get up in arms. So the whole Caribbean, when they leave the island and they come here and they raise their children, who was the first generation of American, because you know what? My mother came here when she was 10 years old. My grandmother brought my, my mother and her siblings here. Do you think that I was raised in an American household? No, I wasn't. I wasn't getting no fast food. You know what I was getting? I was getting pilau. I was getting um, soup. I was getting rice and peas. I was getting stew chicken and curry chicken. I was not raised American. Let's 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 have that point out there. I, it wasn't no. Um, I was raised with children should be seen and not heard. When when you go into a room, you must say good morning, good afternoon, and even if they're not your family, it's auntie and uncle. I was raised in a Caribbean-based household so I could talk my talk when I talk about Juve and I could talk my talk when I talk about Trinidad because I've been there several. Countless to talk. So stop coming and trying to check people without knowing what they like, what they don't like, or what their background is, please. And stop making this whole thing about race because it's not about race. And the same people that's, that's under the comments and talking about hate, are we Caribbean people do not even show hate. We show love. That is the problem. So if you're even going to put Caribbean hate in the same sentence, you don't know Caribbean people. Come out from here. Please. Please and thanks. I try not to, I try, I'm really trying to be respectful of the thing and keep it to what it's on. And it's about the word and the usage of a word that means so much so a whole lot of people out there not only Trinidadian people because all the caribbean cultures do juve it's not only about trinidad and what and why you're here i'm here because my family migrated to united states of america mm-hmm 
And I am American, but I am proud of my Caribbean heritage. Let me, let me, let me say this again. I might, I, you know what? I might need to come out here and just talk about my past experience of trade out in a different, different, different way. When you come onto this page, this platform, you understand that I literally go hard. Please look at my previous um, videos about Carnival. I, I could talk about what my mother sent me for summer. My first concert was in Trinidad. Yes, it was. My first, my first club experience was in Trinidad as well. And I was underage. Let's talk about that. Woo-woo. Okay. But back. I am proud and I'm happy that the Caribbean the Caribbean community as a whole stood together for, for injustice that we felt. It might not be felt by others, but we felt it and we got the answers that we were looking for. And I'm glad that they're gonna change. The, the the rum and let's go ahead and just let's let's next time take other people considerations in but they I clearly I really 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 think they did not think about the repercussion or they didn't they, they just didn't think that it, it would have been a problem simple but oh yeah one love